Hello and welcome to another Oye Help Me series. We're again here with Paulina Panduro, who is a graduate of Carl Arbert State Community College at Pato, Padua, <laughs> Pato, Oklahoma. Uh, but the last time we talked about, we talked about your community college experience. And now I want to talk to you about that transition that you made uh, from a two-year institution to a four-year institution. You know, why did you decide to come here to Oklahoma State University? You know, what made you, trans you know, not just stop, you know, getting your associates and, you know, what, what major, what pushed you to, to not just come to Oklahoma State, but you guys talk about that, but what made you come directly from your two-year institution to a four-year institution? Uh, one of the things that made me come to OSU was the scholarship opportunities that were offered to me and the friendliness when I came and did the, uh, the tour visit. Yeah. Um, I liked how I would see some of the students walk by and they were so they were so friendly and that's one of the reasons why I came. Okay, and you know, was it difficult to transition from a two-year institution to, I mean, you went to a pretty small uh, community yeah. college, um, and here at Oklahoma State, we have over 20,000 students, or 20,000 students, I mean, it's an enormous campus, it's huge. Um, how was that transition? Did you face any difficulties? Was it easy? Or how was that transition? Well, um, I wasn't expecting it to be this difficult for me to be able to, um, how would I say it, um, stabilize, I guess? Okay. Yes, um, it was so overwhelming, like, I wasn't expecting the whole check your D2L, check your, it, from my community college compared to OSU, it was, it was really completely different, so, uh, the, it's a little bit hard. Well, now, personally, did you face any difficulties, like, when you first came here, um, you know, did you know people already here, or did you have to make new friends, you know? Uh, you know, did, was it difficult for your family just to leave and, you know, not be there every day, not at the house? You know, how was that transition? Well, um, I actually lived um, at my house when I was at my community college, so coming to a four-year college, um, it was really hard for me because I was always with my family, and this time I actually had to make new friends, meet new people, so it was a little bit Difficult. And what would you suggest for you know young Latinas and Latinos out there you know who have who could possibly have the opportunity to come to transition to a four-year university you know probably outside of their hometown or outside near their home you know what suggestions or advice would you give them you know to just go out there and go to that four-year institution even if it's not near their house you know when I was moving to the four-year college I knew I was going to um, have a lot of obstacles. Even though it's a little bit hard, it take it like step by step, and you'll be able to be all, you'll be all right. Okay, and also, um, what opportunities have come to you here at Oklahoma State that didn't come at your community college? You know, what new experiences, what opportunities? You know, you winning the Miss Hispanic. Yes. You know, what, so what opportunities have come for you? Um, one of the biggest things I believe is um, at my library they didn't offer as many um, as many things that they do here at OSU. I'm checking out laptops, having the printers, the um, the scanners, and I don't, the 24 hour or not 24 hour, but they close at 2 a.m. That's that's a really big thing. Yeah. At my community college, they would close the library at ten, huh. so yeah. or even at nine if there wasn't anybody there. So yeah. that was a really that was one of the big things. And also at my community college, there wasn't that many Hispanics. Mm -hmm. So coming to OSU, and I met a lot of like I felt like home when I met all some of the Hispanics here. Okay. And of course, you winning the the, the Mrs. Yes, Bag. How, how was that? Well, it was it was really fun. It was a really great experience, and um, that just boosted up my confidence. And it has helped me to. Well, Diana has mm -hmm. helped me with the process of Mrs. Hispanic Latina. Yeah. Okay. And what advice? What final advice would you give out there to you know the young Latino Latinas out there? 
across the United States and Puerto Rico, what advice would you give, one final word of advice or advice, would you give them to, you know, make that transition from a two-year and four-year institution to a four-year institution, not just stop there, but continue because, you know, research has shown a lot of them, you know, a lot, a lot of young Latinos and Latinas just stop at a two-year institution and don't go on. You know, what advice would you just, you know, to push them forward? Well, to not um, stop there, I mean, there's, like, you're growing up and either way you can take little steps, like I said, and you'll be able to accomplish so many things. So I believe that um, to just not stop there and, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Paulina, for, for doing this again and for joining us on that transition from a two-year institution to a four-year uh, institution. Uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, you can see this video and other also video series at www.oyehelpme.net. But remember, guys, to follow Oye Help Me series at O-Y-E Help Me at Twitter. Thank you.